Hey, this is Charlie from Grud and DJ No DJ. I'm going to show you uh, how to combine two different Omnisphere patches into one and make the split inside one of one of those plugins rather than having two plugins running. Uh, Omnisphere uses a lot of CPU, so you want to limit uh, limit it to one. So, like you could, if, let's I have two channel strips both running an Omnisphere patch. I could make a I could go into layer editor and make a split layer, but again, that's two different versions of Omnisphere running, and you don't want that. So we're gonna do it inside here. I'm gonna go to this first one. Let's say that you found a a patch in here that you liked, but you made a few tweaks. So let's save it. Uh, go up here, right click, save patch. Uh, I'm gonna save it as tutorial base. Uh, but again, you can do whatever you want. I'm replacing it. I already did this. Just to... it'll ask you this. Don't worry about it. I will write it. Um, and it usually asks you to like make some tags and easier ways to find this patch. But uh, you do whatever you want with that. Um, so I'm saving that. So I've got that one. Let's go into the other. I did the other. I did the same thing with the other one. Just you know, you don't have to watch it again. Um, okay. So now let's leave these both open right now and just make a new uh, channel strip uh, in case you don't know just reset this channel strip I'm right clicking on the channel strip setting and making a reset because I don't like that they just start with the compression oh, this is main stage 2, main stage 3 they figured that out um, alright so I'm just going into Make a new Omnisphere. And all these numbers up here, that's because you could have eight different patches running at the same time. Uh, in this first one, I'm going to click here and search for what I named it, Tutorial Base. Oh, there it is. Okay, so in the second one, Made a tutorial pad, so I'm going to search for that. Okay, so now if I play this, you're only going to hear the bass right now uh, and not the pad at all. And the reason is when we go to multi right here, that's how you manage all eight of these. Um, it assigns each one to a different MIDI channel. And I'm assuming that your keyboard is usually coming out of channel 1 or operating on channel 1. Whatever it is, you have to assign this here to be exactly the same channel as that. So that might be tricky. You know, might, have been, might have been the problem for a lot of people. Um, now you can hear the pad, there's a tail there. So this is a good place to pan things and stuff like that. Uh, the auxes are for if you wanted to send, if you wanted to make some joint effects and put them on one of these auxes, then you could send here rather than having individual effects here on an individual patch. You could save some CPU by going to multi effects and putting them there and then assigning, if you had like eight things going, which I never have to play in life or whatever. Um, okay, so back in the multi, go to mixer. Uh, so I've assigned them both to channel one. So now let's go to stack, and that's where you can make the layers. And everything's pretty self explanatory from here. I'm, I'm just making the base low, and then I'm going to drag and make the pad high. You can also like uh, drag the top corner, and then you make an angle thing, meaning like, it gets louder in this region from here to here. Uh, so whatever you want there, but now you're gonna. Hmm. Oh, I gotta turn on stack mode here. Got to do that part. I got the base down here. And I need the pad up here. So you've made one, and now you only have one version of Omnisphere running. I can delete these. And you're really happy. Now, um, the only other thing I do is 
I'm opening back this one up. Uh, up here, right click and save the multi, that's what this is called. And you basically go through the same process as before, you just kind of, um, you know, have to describe it and all that stuff. So, that should help you out.